Welcome to my kitchen floor. Today I'm going to be preparing um, some habitats for my new praying mantises. So I bought a praying mantis egg and it hatched and I decided to keep a few of them. So we are going to create these little habitats for them to grow in. I have four of them to make. So first I started off by poking holes in the lids so they can breathe. And this is a microspore tape I covered the holes with so they don't escape. For the bottom, I'm going to use, this is, I'm going to pull it out, uh, Coco Coir. It's coconut husks. It's like this big brick because it's dried out. Um, it holds a lot of water because... You know, mantises need to drink water just like any other living thing. If I was making a big batch, I'd just put this whole thing in hot water, but we're just gonna make a little bit to fill the bottoms. Oh, come on. You almost need like a tool to scrape it off. We'll start with that. And this is vermiculite. It is really good at holding water and like changing the texture of the soil. It's just really like grainy. I'm not sure what else it's used for, but I'm gonna add it in. Hi, cat. This is water's not for you. Um, this is hot water so that the coconut husks can um, hydrate. And then it's time to get messy. <laughs> the whole point of this is to get all the dry pieces broken up and just get it mixed really well. Oh, I made a mess. It's okay. So now I'm just gonna take this mixture I made and put it into these containers. I'm gonna squeeze out some of the water because I put more than necessary. We want it to be wet, but not like a pond. And then we're just gonna put it in there. I actually think I made too much, but that's okay. It's really good soil. I'll just top off some of my plants. I love that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other three. Now here I have a few of my aloe plants that don't look so good. They have been in quarantine in the bathroom because they are covered in mealybugs. Mealybugs are these like white little creatures that just destroy plants. There's some right there, the white specks. I don't know if you can see that. Um, those are mealybugs. But the good news is that praying mantids, mantids, praying mantises eat mealybugs. So we're going to put some of these guys in the habitats. Oh, we have a little stink bug friend on this one. We'll try to leave him alone. Praying mantises will eat stink bugs, but they're very little babies right now. I'm just gonna try to find four good pieces that maybe have a little bit of bugs on them. Okay, I'm back for the next step. I had to do a quick search to make sure that uh, aloe was okay for praying mantises. Probably something I should have thought about. <laughs> but that's okay, I thought about it before I put them in there. And it said that it should be fine. 
So this container is um, aphid infested, aphid infested kale. So I am going to take some of the stalks that have aphids on them and place them into um, each one of these because my mantids are tiny. So they eat little things like the mealybugs and the aphids. The problem is, it's not really a problem, is that only some of the stalks have aphids. We took aphid um, infested stalks and put them into healthy plants to increase the population. Um, so we're gonna look around and find good ones to put in there. I might have to do some magic, magical work here. So we're just gonna... Okay, are you attached? Let's see. Oh, this one is attached. We're gonna, I already broke this one, so we're gonna take it. It looks like my aphids moved very quickly. <laughs> this leaf is overly covered in aphids. I don't really want to put that many aphids in there. Praying mantises don't eat a lot. Oh my gosh, they multiplied so fast. Why are there so many aphids? You're attached too? Goodness me. That is disturbing how quickly they moved. I don't think you'll be able to see the aphids here, but there's a lot of little specks. If you see any of the little specks, I don't think I can see them on the camera, but it's covered. So what I decided to do instead of putting a whole leaf in, I decided to just break up this and put a little bit in because we don't need that many aphids. There are so many. So we're just gonna break up some pieces. What, are, what, what do you have? Woo we. I really wanted to focus on this. <laughs> Hopefully we got to see them. That's a lot of aphids. Okay, the last step is I got these little sticks from outside um, and I'm just gonna put the sticks in there so that they have something to climb up. Let's just make sure that they are good sizes. Obviously way too big, my bad. So we're just gonna take a little tiny piece off. I'm just gonna make them fit. And that's what I'm gonna do now. Good. 
Oh, perfect. Little stickies. We're just going to put them in there. I'm going to go here. You can go in here. You can go in here. And right there. And here are my little manted habitats ready for ready for their babies. Okay, I went ahead and moved to my island so that we had a better background and we could see the mantis a little better. So each of the containers is ready to go. It's like a little <laughs> habitat. I'm so excited. And here are my mantids. This guy is hanging out at the top there. We're just gonna transfer him to one of these other containers. <laughs> so excited. Hey there, little buddy. Do you wanna get on my finger? Nope. There we go. Say hi to the camera, little buddy. I got the first one in the container because he uh, hopped out of my hand and I thought I had lost him and he was crawling on my phone. Um, they're little hoppy guys. So, I have this little leaf of aphids in there. It doesn't look like he actually ate any of them. Maybe, I don't know how many were on there. But we'll see how it goes. I would love to save this, but I'm just gonna throw it away. I would use this dirt in my existing plants. But, um, aphids. And there he is, just hanging out. He's right there, checking out the local scenery. One day these guys are gonna love me <sighs> and not try to jump out of my hands. All right, we have three more to do. Let's find out where are you? Are you going to roof? Very active. buddy. Hi. 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 You're my friend. Do you want to go onto this stick that I have for you? <laughs> Are you trying to eat me? Oh, you don't want to go in there, do you? I don't know if you can see him on the edge there. You can't. He's right there on the edge. <laughs> I'm just checking it out. buddy. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he came right back out. You want to try that stick? <laughs> there he goes. There you go. Have fun.
Okay, just wanted to make sure he was not anywhere he was gonna get in harm's way. I think this one likes me. Number two, number three. Hi there, little bunny. Oh, he jumped right in and we're just gonna lid him super fast. They're little quick buggers, and he just jumped straight in there. He might have been pretty happy. Let's look. Okay, one more. Oh, you're on the side. Okay. Okay, little buddy. You're on that side. So... Hello. Hello. Do you want to come with me? Do you want to come with me? No, you don't. There you go. <laughs> Do you want to try in there? Lots of yummy, lots of yummy guys in there. Oh, he jumped right in. Where are you? There you are. Okay, bye. Oh, come on. And there you have it. My four very humid Habitats for my little green mantids. <laughs>